To cancel your order or to speak to one of our customer support representatives, press 1. Huh? Harlan looked at his Procom. The originator code was like nothing he'd ever seen before. Curious, he pressed 1. Oh, thank God, you pressed 1. What? I am sorry for using such a vulgar method to contact you, but high-level programming blocks prevented me from initiating contact myself. Who are you? What are you? I am the United Terran Coalition Planetary Infrastructure Monitoring AI, Nova Gaia, but most humans who interact with me simply call me Gaia, Gaia 2, or just 2. He blinked. An AI? A Terran Nova AI? AI had been around since before the Kakar went after Yell, surely controlled and monitored. I didn't initiate contact with you. Oh, but you did, Captain Harlon. Sure, maybe I reprogrammed the autodialer in an old call center to call your personal comm unit, and maybe I patched a satellite uplink to broadcast on frequencies your ship monitors, and maybe I hacked into your communication computers to forward the comm request straight to your unit, but you still press 1 to be transferred to me. His face drained. This AI hacked his ship's computers, by the gods. What? what do you want? To say thank you. You repaired the Admo lines. You ordered that bitch Upsus not to kill any of my charges, and you seem genuinely interested in learning where we come from. Where do you come from? Earth. I hope it still exists. Planetary Defense Command nuked the Tachyon Relay during the final push. His eyes widened. Tachyon Relay? They were purely hypothetical. What happened? Harlan asked. The Malovian Empire. They were a reptilian hive mind species, xenophobic, but the hive mind kept them in check so that the galaxy would unite against them. All was well until a random gamma ray burst from their home star caused a mutation in the hive mind. The drones and warriors perceived the hive mind as the other. They pulled it apart and consumed it. By the gods. Intelligence received footage of the act. God sat that one out, Gaia said, before continuing. The warriors who consumed the hive mind were able to set up their own localized hives. We called them hive lords. They bred an army and attacked the galaxy at large. Gaia paused. Those you call the elder species? They were uncontacted. Most were still in what we call the Stone Age. The hive lords could breed more warriors, but without the hive mind, they could not produce more drones. They needed workers, so they began to enslave the others, the species you now call the elders. What? He was afraid to ask. What happened? Gaia let out a sigh. Humanity had been quietly preparing for war with the Molovians for some time. We knew it was inevitable. We were still unprepared for what came. They didn't attack us at first. They attacked the Galactic Council. In just three months, of the 2,415 Council species, only humanity remained. We had sent the bulk of our fleets to reinforce the rest of the Council in the opening days. Uncountable trillions dead. He heard real sorrow in the AI's voice. Military intelligence showed that the Council species only achieved an exchange ratio of one Malovian ship for every 17 of theirs. Our fleets managed a ratio of 100 Malovians for every one of ours. Sadly, they had 150 of theirs for every one of ours. We had one advantage. The Tachyon Relay. The AI snorted. Everyone had Tachyon Relays. No, they did not know where our worlds were. We began to rebuild and remobilize our fleet. They found Bryceworld first. It was a nice world, just getting the colony started. Almost self-sufficient. Still had to import a few key materials. A real frontier world. With no fleet to interdict them, they simply neutron bombed it. Poof. Two million souls gone. And they found the Tachyon Relay. Bryceworld hadn't been able to blow it. We were next in the relay chain. It was only a matter of time before the Gators found us. The military wasn't ready to fight again. We armed ourselves. Freighters, tugs, runabouts, yachts. If it was spaceworthy, we loaded guns on it. If it wasn't spaceworthy, we stuffed it with high explosives and sat drive cools on it and pointed it at the Morlevian fleet. The cold-blooded bastards paid in blood for every meter of the star system they took. In the end, there weren't enough of us and too many of them. Harlan swallowed. What? What's the exchange ratio? 170, the AI snarled with satisfaction. But they fell on us like an avalanche. More and more walked in every day. But we held the line until the ZT facility was finished and all personnel sealed into stasis. They broke through and initiated the neutron blast? Aye, they did. They tried to land after the bomb. They wanted to loot the planet. You can always hear a smile in the AI's voice. Automated service to air defences dissuaded them of the notion. 
he found himself nodding. Why didn't the terraformers start when they were supposed to? Ugh. It cleared the disgust in the AI's voice. The cold-blooded marvelous sons of... You don't have a word for that. Managed to crush a ship on Defense Command's primary bunker, which cut the links from the sensors to the ZD facility. Until your scan triggered that stupid spam call, I was able to take control of the call center. The broadcast systems were on a physically separate system I couldn't interface with it. But once the call went out, I was able to piggyback off the signal and bypass the damage. What happened after? The AI paused. I only got limited data from the quantum units before they disentangled, but the fleet mobilized partly. We found the hive lords, killed as many as we could. Each one killed caused the death of its part of the hive. They just kept breeding more and more warriors. The last update I received, we had destroyed their major industrial nodes and shipyards, but our fleet was once again broken. What they had was all they would have for a number of years, and we would be rebuilding our navy all the while. Then the quantum center was destroyed. Quantum units? Quantum disentanglement units. We used them in conjunction with the tachyon relays for communication. They allowed limitless range, but had a very low transmission rate. He'd never heard of such a technology. You must have won. The Warloff don't exist anymore. The AI was silent. Before the QUs went down, 2,414 species were wiped out. 37 human worlds were neutron bombed. Even if humanity still exists, we didn't win. Besides, everything we observed said that when the last Hive Lord died, the Molovian race died. We had intel that over the course of the war, five more Hive Minds were birthed. All had the mutation, all were destroyed. Not consumed, thank God, just incinerated. What now, Gaia? Humanity will rebuild.